Gatsby, I got your Christmas present here. He's like, what? You wanna check it out? Here it is, look. Do you want me to open it for you? Here we go. You wanna see? What's inside, do you know? I saw this online and I was like, Gatsby, you wanna have this. It's wrapped up. Okay. It's a scalp massager! <laughs> we gotta charge it first. Put it in here and then it charges. Okay, you gotta wait, Gatsby. It's charging. He's like, what? I don't get it. Okay, is it done charging? Shall we try it out? You press this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put it on you now. Here it goes, first time. He's <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Do you like it? Uh... <laughs> 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 he likes it. Pure bliss. Gatsby? Yeah! Oh. He's like, give me more. Give me more. Oh my gosh. This is just like a regular scalp massage from Amazon Basics, but I saw that they used it on pets a lot in like all the pictures, so I was like, huh, I might as well get one for Gatsby. Oh, it feels good. Oh man. Oh yes, okay, I got it. Gatsby, did you like it? Yeah? Gatsby's reaction was worth the price of getting that for him. Well, I think that was worth it. Yeah, Gatsby? Merry Christmas, dude! I think it's time for us to start the vlog. everybody it's been a while since I've shared with you guys a life hack it works about 95% of the time so I was reminded of this hack just because I just used it a few minutes ago but this works with like any large company that uses like a computerized automated phone system and it's mainly for when you need to speak to a representative but the phone tree won't get you connected to a representative. And for a lot of these companies, even though you keep saying, I wanna to speak to a representative, the automated system won't connect you. There is a magic phrase you can say so that it will connect you to a representative. I learned this from an Apple employee because I had been calling and calling and Apple system also would never connect me to the store, which I needed to speak to somebody at the store. And so, do you wanna know the magic words? Do you wanna know? The magic words are, I'm returning a call. Whenever I say those magic words, all the time, the automated system's like, oh, okay, I'm connecting you to a representative right now. And sometimes it even lets you skip the line. <gasps> you can thank me later. <laughs> when I called FedEx today, I was getting super annoyed because it would not connect me to anyone. And I just said those magic words. And immediately the computerized system said, no problem, I'm connecting you to a representative. Like immediately. And remember, 
doesn't matter if you're returning a car or not. You're just trying to convince the automated system that you are worthy of it transferring you to a representative. But remember, don't tell other people. <gasps> it's time for me to play an ukulele song. Sing along if you want. some mail from people. Do you want to open some presents? Okay, well let's open some mail. He's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at him right here. It's like, oh, I'm so ready. Are you ready to open some presents? Okay. This one is from the Porter family from Carryville, Texas. Metal Texas magnets. That's you, Gatsby. <laughs> Very nice. It's Poop Shark. Oh, oh. Gatsby. It's for you, but not really. <laughs> it's poop bags for your dog, but it's made out of paper to reduce plastic waste. You pick up the poop, and then you invert the bag. I like it. <laughs> Gatsby, watch out. Don't do that. What are you doing? This is from Kathleen from Egg Harbor, New Jersey. Advent calendar for corgis? It's the same one as last year. Ta da! On the first day of Christmas, my corgi gave to me a chicken treat. Oh my gosh, that is so yummy. On the second day of Christmas, my corgi gave to me a turkey burger. <laughs> this is from Ethan from San Jose, California. Oh my gosh, it's so many gifts. Look at all this, Gatsby, you scored. Sliced pork from Full Moon, human grade dog treats, and an Amazon gift card? A puzzle for you to do. It says skill level expert. You guys are so wonderful. Thank you so much for all of these gifts, all of them. This is a huge puzzle here. And you can stick treats inside of here. There's these little switches here that lock it so you can't slide it, so you're just gonna have to unlock them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They have holes in here, it looks like, so that the dog can smell. Put the treat inside of the hole and close it up. So he has to spin this around first, align it correctly, and then <laughs> push this in to reveal the treat. Then to get to the next one, he's gonna have to pull this back, spin it around, and align it to another one, and reveal the treat. I don't know, this looks very hard. And also, I don't think he can, he's gonna try to flip it over, because he always does. I don't think that's gonna work on this one. There you go. That's not how you do it. Let's go outside. <laughs> That's not gonna hurt. There he goes. He's like, oh, I figured it out, I think. We can hang out on the beach with our friends. Well, he figured out the sliding one, for sure. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Like, yeah, I know how to do it. It's In definitely the circle night. thing that's gonna be the biggest challenge. He still hasn't figured out the circle thing. I think he got one treat out, it looks like. You guys, I have been so busy shipping out all of the merchandise. Oh my gosh, it's been so crazy. I know that a lot of the beanie colors have been totally sold out. I contacted my local manufacturer and he was actually able to pull some strings and we got a few of them restocked. Forest green, but I also got this new 
navy and charcoal color, which looks really cool. If you missed our last live stream, you might not have heard, there are a few plushes left. Long story short, as you guys remember, the Gatsby plushes were manufactured and shipped over. However, due to the shipping port crisis, everything got backed up. And so I did have a few air freighted over to me so I could sell them before Christmas. Well, actually one of the air freighted boxes got lost in the mail and I finally got it in. It took like over a month. I have a few of these. They're still from the first run. These special edition ones come with a special tag over here that is signed by me. Once those are out, that's it. After that, they won't come with this signed tag. So they'll just come normally with the regular tag right over here. If you wanna get one of these first edition plushes, there are a few left. You can get them at corgionfleek.com. Oh my gosh, I just walked in and look, Gatsby somehow removed this. I was like, what, what happened? <laughs> he got to all of the, oh my gosh, Gatsby, that's not how you do it. He was like, this is in the way. I solved the problem. You did it, Gatsby. It's all gone. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. Good boy. It's time for dinner. Today, we are going to be making some broccoli and cheddar soup because it's cold outside and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks so good. We're going to start off by peeling some carrots and a white onion. Three tablespoons of butter and we saute for five minutes. While we wait, we're going to mince three cloves of garlic. The special thing about this soup is that you don't have to use heavy cream. We're gonna be making a roux, which is basically like a thickening agent. It's uh, flour and butter, which will thicken the soup and make it more creamy. You can use either chicken stock or vegetable stock. One, two, three. And then we're doing two cups of reduced fat, 2% milk, and one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. You don't want this in your soup, so we're just gonna do smaller pieces. I'm thinking we don't really need that much stem too. That's okay, because you know who likes the stem? Come here, go. Do you want some stems? So we need two cups of sharp white cheddar cheese. So we need to grate this. That's about enough cheese. We got our broccoli, everything is simmering. Let's add the broccoli. So then we simmer it for about two to four minutes. Broccoli cheddar soup. And of course we garnish it with some more cheese on the top. Ta-da! That was a very easy soup to make. All the recipes from Gimme Some Oven is pretty good. I will put a link to this one in the description below. Let's try it out. Mm. When I've had broccoli cheddar soup in the past, it's like very creamy and very thick. This one is more like chicken broth tasting. Cheese and broccoli taste really good together. Um, it's definitely very hearty and it's nice and chewy. I'm gonna finish this and we are gonna continue on with the vlog. Look who it is! Hey. <laughs> we are headed off to Target. We're gonna go Christmas shopping a little bit. We're going in. Look at all the festive decorations. These are like Christmas gifts section here. You can, Sean, look. Merry Christmas, collagen peptides. Oh, thank you, $13. If you gave that to someone for, for Christmas, they would might get offended. Yeah, and it has like a permanent. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. You there's, got zero. There's nothing inside of it. Yeah, nothing inside. <laughs> oh. 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 It's Christmas, it's Christmas corn. corn. With sea salt. Oh my gosh. So good, Just man. like the stuff that they floor in the driveways. <laughs> yeah. Look. It's like a winter wonderland. Look, you can get this, Sean. Wow. It's Zendaya. One armed Zendaya. Zendaya's arm broke off. It's like only the broken ones are left. Like, this Fortnite guy, his legs are gone. <laughs> LeBron, too, his, oh. he's missing a leg. Oh no. Oh my god, even this one is missing a leg. <laughs> <laughs> is she missing it? <gasps> She's missing another arm, too, are. Zendaya. Look at this Iron Man, too, he's missing a leg. <laughs> and an, he's missing a leg and an arm. Oh. Thanos got him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coco Melon shot. No. <laughs> you know. It's one of the reindeer games, yeah. like Monopoly. Zorro? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, here's your Sean. Oh, nice. I don't like that one, though. Oh. Look well, like those. You can't, you can't be picky. I There's not that much selection here. 
<laughs> Your name has to start with a B R O Z. Oh, your name starts with a Z. That's very lovely. Zach. That's true. Oh look, Q. That's kind of hard, Quinn. I, I don't know. Quinn. They're hurting everyone whose name starts with a Q now. Gatsby doesn't get a stocking, I guess. Yeah, there's no G on here. No. Nope. Oh, there's a G right there. Oh, but there's. It doesn't even. There's a G. There's a G up yeah, there, but, but there's no G on the stock. <laughs> they put D on this one, but it's like this one could be anything you want it to be. Not even on the back. Like, seriously, where is it? It's right here. But this is dumb. You like, can just cut this off. Yeah, elf on the stuff face clothes? Yeah. <laughs> You need to dress them up for space. This one is uh, Elf on the Shelf who invested in Dogecoin. Oh my god! He went to the moon. Oh my god, it he, is! He went to the moon. It's Elon Musk with <laughs> Elf on the Shelf. They hide all the Pokemon cards here, Sean. Can you get one and open it? He still collects the cards. Yeah, I love the cards. I got baby wipes and socks. I got one Pokemon card. <laughs> yes. I'll be you then. Okay, we're going. We one back. And the three doing coin. All right, Ryan. Jinx! Oh my gosh! <laughs> look how happy he looks. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's a, a reverse it's hollow Latios. Latios. That's a nice one. And the last one that's supposed to be the best, but it could not be good. Boo! Uh, what? That's not even shiny. Guess me, look who it is. Hey, no. Look at his tail go! Yeah, so happy! Sean's trying Gatsby's massage. It almost looks like an animal just like crawling up. Yeah. Oh, look, it seems like it feels good. <laughs> That's nice. Ooh, ooh. Wow. <laughs> this feels great. It almost feels like there's like a giant spider walking on your head. <laughs> I like them all, to be honest with you. The green looks really good, the one you're wearing. Yes. This one is like almost all sold out. Non-fungible corgi. Yes. It's the NFC. Yes, <laughs> NFC. I actually never saw that Gatsby right there in the oh, corner. Oh though. yeah, no, there's, there's like a lot. I'm in this picture too. Can you find me? <laughs> It's an Easter egg. Oh, right there! It's I'm so good. Gatsby, right there. Yeah. <laughs> you need to find your Pokemon card you gave me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so hard. This is like worth all the. There it is. <laughs> you wow, it. it's like so small. This is my favorite one. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, I liked your behind the scenes on how you did this one too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, these are nice too. These are the same as the shirts then. Ooh, these are the NFCs. Yeah. <laughs> I like the quality. There's some weight to it. Yeah, it's nice. I also like that little added touch with the Corgi on fleek on the back. Yeah. That's super nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, you can have those. Oh, thanks. You have this whole like NFC collection. Yeah, going. it's the whole collection this time. <laughs> Ta-da! Do I look like a TikToker? Oh my gosh, you're so trendy. <laughs> Gatsby. He's, He's like, oh my gosh. Gatsby's you. <laughs> He's having a Pavlovian response <laughs> to his own picture. That's, then I can just... Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's right this there. Really nice. This is really nice. You want one? Sure. Merry Christmas! Ah, thank you! <laughs> Got some corgi on fleek stuff! Woo! Yeah. We're gonna say bye to Sean. <laughs> bye. See ya! See you later. Thank, thank you for my Christmas gift. Oh, too. yes! <laughs> you know, you can tag me. Hashtag corgi on fleek. Okay, when I post it on Instagram, <laughs> I'll make sure to do that. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I forgot to mention, don't forget to check out our Instagram page. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I just discovered your Instagram. Link in the description below. I just want to remind everybody that it is getting down to the wire. If you want to get a Corgi on Fleet calendar for Christmas, you still might have a little bit of time left. Make sure to go to corgionfleet.com to grab all the merchandise. This makes a really good gift for Christmas. You'll just have Corgi happiness for like the entire year. And don't forget, it also comes with a poster inside. Other than that, we are gonna go to bed. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Are you ready to cook? <gasps> Welcome everyone to cooking with a corgi. Do you want me to cook for you?